what up everybody this is trucker kennedy um i just wanted to give a quick update on uh my new truck situation um i was supposed to already have it uh this week but uh the load count's been uh you know we have 18 or 20 loads and only uh 17 drivers because a couple uh you know moved on to something else um so we weren't able to they weren't able to send me to the terminal to turn my truck in and uh, to get the other truck. <clears throat> so, which is un understandable, you know, things come up um, that are out of anybody's control. And, uh, you know, getting the loads to the stores is more important than, uh, you know, switching out to a different truck. Um, I can get the truck, you know, next week when it's, you know, not a busy day. You know send me up downtown turn the truck in <clears throat> and uh you know come back get my truck because my truck is actually at my distribution center that i work at that's where the truck is the new truck is that i'm going to get it's there but uh they want me to take my truck back to the terminal in order to get the new truck which is okay that's fine no big deal um we just got to have time in order to do it you know we can't lose out on production just for switching trucks so <clears throat> no problem and actually i i just got uh i just got a, a text just now actually and um it looked like it said something about going up there monday morning and uh actually another driver is going up there also to turn his truck in because we're both getting two you know newer trucks than what we have now and so we're gonna go up there Together, well, he's gonna drive his truck. I'm gonna drive my truck. We're gonna meet up there together, then uh, go get a rental car, and then head back, you know, together in the same rental car. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it's just a quick update. You know, it's not always perfect. It doesn't always work out according to plan. Um, but uh, you gotta stay positive and uh, you know still you know do your job and do the best you can and that will you know work itself out all the things that you're you know it'll work out so you know there's nothing anybody did to prevent me from getting the truck already it just you know the customers come first and stuff like that so you know it's understandable like I told him in the beginning, I was like, I, you know, I appreciate the opportunity to get a better truck, but, um, you know, I have a truck now, you know, it's not perfect, but Hey, I can still get the job done with this truck. Um, so I was, you know, not that worried about it really. Obviously I'm excited about it, but, uh, and I'm not going to turn it down, but it's also, <clears throat> you know, I'm not going to act like it's something that they have to give me, you know? So it's cool i'll stay appreciative you know and try to remain humble you know because as soon as you start acting as if you that you're you're expecting or, or you're demanding you know the best this the best that and whatever and you know you still only been driving for a year you know that don't really mean that much so for them to do that for me this early I'm appreciative, you know, I'm not going to act as if, you know, it should have happened a long time ago. What's the hold up? What, what do you mean? You said you're going to get me in my truck on Monday. It's freaking Thursday. You know, what's going on? Who cares about the loads? Just get me to Allentown, you know, get me my new truck. That's more important because it's not more important. And that would be counterproductive. And that could also, you know, not make them happy with me. And that's just not the person that I am anyway. So I'll just do the best I can. And uh, everything else will fall right in line. And uh, all right, that's all for now. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. Thanks. Later.